and polite signals for one more question. So what I will do is let's talk about the future. You mentioned about some of the companies you're investing in technologies. What are the future frontiers of digital? And what should we in the room know about? I think one thing you'll appreciate is I don't like future questions. I don't know. I've had a great career because I act quickly once it happened, mm -hmm. more so than guess. But I will tell you, and I, this I feel very comfortable with, you have to pay attention to voice. You have to. Because it's on my key principle of what I talked about in 2012. The reason Alexa and Google and Apple Pod or anything else that's invented, whatever China's up to or if somebody secretly is working on something meaningful, the reason it's gonna work is it's better for all of us. Voice is faster than texting. People don't call anymore because it's speed. Not because of respect or tradition, it's time. We value time subconsciously in a way that you couldn't imagine. So voice to me, how your brand sounds is gonna be something not, I never thought of. How does Emirates sound? What's the sound, what's the voice of? So I think that's unbelievably fascinating. I think you'll be shocked a decade from today how many people are booking and making business decisions, buying strictly through themselves and a, and a voice device in business environments, in their car, at home, in every conference room. This, <laughs> this market will probably be first given its love for innovation and speed, it's going to be unbelievably powerful and very disruptive. The fact that I genuinely now see a path that eliminates Google search because of voice is fascinating to me. But if you look at your six-year-olds, they're gonna be 18 very quickly and they're being trained to search through voice, not through text. My six-year-old son knows everything about sports, he can't read because all he does is talk to Siri and Alexa all day and then I get home and have to answer questions about the 1984 NBA Finals and he's got it down. That's something he would have had to wait four or five years from. They're being trained in voice and you're gonna get sucked in. This isn't waiting 12 years for them to be just of age of doing something. We will all be sucked in and so as a professional and looking around the room knowing a lot of you are gonna be in the workforce for the next decade, two, three, I highly recommend starting to get comfortable with voice devices for yourself because that will just help you with, you know, just being native to these things really does matter at the end of the day.